Hello friends. In this class, we learn about zero divisors and units in the ring of polynomials. So, we start with the problem whether this polynomial class four x square plus class two x plus class four is a zero divisor in z h x or not. So, first of all. We list all the elements of the ring Z H. Class three, class four, class five, class six, class seven. We see that the zero divisors in Z eight are class 2 class 4 and class 6 and class 1 class 3 class 5 and class 7 are units in z8 as 1 3 5 7 are less than 8 and prime to 8 now we let fx to be that polynomial class 4 x squared class 2x plus class 4 belongs to z8x we observe that the coefficients all the coefficients class 4 class 2 and class 4 are zero divisors in z8 so if we take we take two types of polynomials over z8 gx as class 4x and hx as class 2x because both class 2 and class 4 are zero divisors in z8 we can also take class 6x now if we multiply these two by the definition of a product of two polynomials we get fx dot gx class 4 class 4 times class 16 x cube class 4 class 2 so class 8 x square class 16 x so class 4 class 16 since 16 is divisible by 8 so it is class 0 x cube it is also class 0 x square it is also class 0 x so we get the zero polynomial the zero element in the ring z h x since z h x is commutative we also have g x dot f x equal to zero then we observe that this is not equal to the zero polynomial so this is a non-zero element this is also a non-zero element but their product vanishes so fx is a zero divisor in z h x if we take h x to be the polynomial class 2x and then multiply this with fx so we should get fx dot hx into class 4 class 2 so class 8 x cube class 2 class 2 class 4 x square plus class 4 class 2 class 8 x so this one class 0 this one is not class 0 this one is class 0 so it get class 4 x square which is not equal to class 0 thus in this case the polynomial we have chosen hx to be 2x is not working ok so we have to take here gx to be class 4x because class 2 and class 2 when we multiply these two we get class 4 of which is not 0 so we have to choose gx in such a way that 
its coefficients are zero dividers as well as if we multiply this coefficient with these given coefficients then we should get the zero coefficient only then gx will work now we will say about some units in zhx so we know well uh, about the definition of units in a uh, ring and uh, for that uh, how to find uh, uh, how to find the units in zx we need a theorem a result which, is, which we state over here and we can use the zx to find units in this polynomial so uh, let r be a commutative ring with unity 1 and fx is a polynomial a n x to the power n belongs to r a x such that a0 is a unit and a2, a1, a2, dot dot dot, a n, all are nilpotent elements in R. Then the conclusion is that f x is is a unit in R x or f x is invertible. Before that, we need the definition of nilpotent elements here in R. So, nilpotent element. An element A having R. Here we suppose that uh, the ring uh, R is commutative with unity 1. An element against to R is said to be said to be nilpotent if there exists a positive integer n such that l is to n is zero the zero element in the ring okay so using this definition and <coughs> applying the theorem over here we consider a polynomial of the type fx so we take class 1 plus class 2 x so here <coughs> class 1 is the unit in the date and class 2 if we want to use this theorem then class 2 must be a nilpotent element in z it. So now check whether class 2 is an important element in Z8 or not. So class 2 times class 2, so it is class 4. So class 4 times class 2, so class 8, so we get class 0. So how many times we have multiplied? So 3 times. So class 2 cube is class 0. So class 2 is an important element in Z8. So it works over here. So using this theorem, we see that this one is a zero, a unit in Z8. Class two is a nilpotent element in Z8. So by this theorem, this polynomial is a unit in Z8x. That is, this polynomial is invertible. So f x is a unit in Z8x